Just a Minute Game Show. Just a Minute is a BBC Radio 4 quiz show that's been running on BBC Radio for the last 50 years with the same hosts throughout. The aim of the game is to speak for one minute without hesitation, deviation, and anime detour. They could use the words anime and detour as much as they like. However, they couldn't say detours or any other variations more than once. Okay, so, the points are scored like this. You score a point if you're still talking, the players talking at the end of the minute will score a point. You get a point for a correct interruption. I won't be judging them. They will be judging each other. They will be attempting to stop each other from talking and take the minute for themselves. So, if... They think that the person in question has committed any of our three crimes, hesitation, deviation, or repetition. They have to shout out to put their hands up. I will ask them what their challenge is. If their challenge is correct, they score a point and they take over the minute. If their challenge is wrong, the original speaker scores a point and gets to keep the minute. So, let's begin. Um, because Tadao is new at this and Joe has played before, let's start from Joe's end of the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, so, I'll be on the lookout for you guys to interrupt. So, Joseph, I would like you to speak for one minute without hesitation, deviation, or repetition on the theme of free hugs. Free hugs starting now. Free hugs are one of the best part of a convention experience because as you walk around the halls and you see all the costume characters, you think, I would like something from these people. They're all, you know, givers, and I want to take something from them. And a free hug is something that you can get, and you can enjoy, and you can fold it into your heart. It can pleasure you in ways that you did not previously know that a free hug could get you to enjoy yourself. Oh, okay. Stop the clock. Jerry, what's your challenge? I wasn't sure what word I was supposed to say to stop it, so That's I just... That's <laughs> what, What's your challenge? Uh, enjoy. He said enjoy twice. I believe he did. So that's a point to Jerry for a correct challenge. Jerry keeps the subject and has them further. Enjoy, Dylan. 27, 27 seconds to talk on the subject to free hugs starting now. So I have this project concerning hugs where I make a list of celebrities that I would really enjoy embracing and getting to smell what it's like to be so near them. Uh, sometimes that could involve... Stop! Oh. Challenge from Joe, what's your challenge? He said, ah. Uh. <laughs> I you your challenge is? Then he said, ah. Uh. <laughs> Okay, he didn't so say a. That was a sound of pleasure. <laughs> we did. We did. Well, then you pleasured yourself twice. <laughs> we would call that a hesitation, so yes. Joe gets a point for a correct challenge. <laughs> and has ten seconds left on the subject of free hugs starting now. The best free hug I have ever received is from Jerry Bellick when I interrupted him from pleasuring himself the third time. <laughs> Uh, I'm afraid Owen interrupted just after the bell went for the end of the subject. Can I, can I Although I would like to hear what she might have said. But, uh, Joe, you get a point for talking as the whistle went. Or rather, it's a whistle in the original game. As you get a point for talking as my wife cried out. <laughs> Can you stop? I, I never get a point for talking there. <laughs> well, at least no one else can probably take over during the minute. <laughs> so, let's continue. Eric, it's your turn to start. Will you talk for a minute? Or <laughs> well, we can hope, can't we? <laughs> will, will you talk 
for a minute, please, without hesitation, deviation, or repetition on the subject of cat girls. Cat girls, starting now. On the topic of cat girls at Anime Store, I would like to mention that I think we have a particularly horrible infestation, but we are working on it with local exterminators. <laughs> Uh, oh, you go. Okay, Jerry got in there first. I was distracted by the mecca. <laughs> I got them. It's like one of those pieces of artwork where the eyes are always. <laughs> I mean, it's Legolas. Never mind. Oh. It's an excuse you don't hear very often. I was distracted by the mecca. <laughs> Jerry, I believe, I believe your challenge was... Uh, a long pause. Yeah, a hesitation, absolutely. You could have driven a truck through it. <laughs> so, um, uh, Jerry, you get a point for correct challenge and you get... 46 seconds on the subject of cat girls starting now. Cat girls uh, remind me of a feline that I own, which was a female, and it was very dangerous because I found that... That particular gender is extremely angry and violent and likes to bite a lot, which isn't probably too different than cat Stop. girls. Oh. Oh. Joseph? He's talking about his cat. <laughs> Not a cat girl. I was, I was starting, a, I was just getting into comparing them to cat uh, girls at conventions. I, I think we should give the benefit of the doubt to Jerry there because it seemed to be clear where he was going. That wasn't quite a deviation. Which is, you know, different for him. So, <laughs> if we're going to give him points for being Jerry, he's going to be able to deviate all the time. Look at his eyes. <laughs> that was an incorrect challenge, so Jerry gets a point for an incorrect challenge and resumes the subject with 23 seconds starting now. As I was saying, it reminds me of cat girls at uh, con like this. Uh, <laughs> Joseph? He said, uh. Yeah, he did. <laughs> So, you get a point for a correct challenge, and I must say, your, your care and attention at not using the phrase cat girls when it's actually the phrase that I've given you. <laughs> I have no idea why you were doing that, but okay. <laughs> 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 Joe, you get a point for a correct challenge and have another 17 seconds on the subject of cat girls starting now. Cat girls are some of the best people at a convention such as Anime Detour from whom to get free hugs. Cat girls <laughs> give them out willy-nilly. Anytime you see a cat girl, she practically has her arms stretched out, ready to embrace fellow con goers. That's one of the big things. Oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Have another drink. Joe gets a point for speaking as the whistle went. I've got to keep saying that. that <laughs> and, um, <laughs> we move on. To the... <laughs> I think the eyebrow is loaded. I think... <laughs> You'll be using that face in the future, won't you, as the whistle went. <laughs> and so, Jerry has a minute to talk on the subject, please, without hesitation, deviation, or repetition of harem shows. Harim shows. Would you talk on that subject? What? For my sake, could you use the phone? H-A-R-M. shows. Oh, you're pretty much it. Yes, I've noticed. Okay, so, Jerry, Harim? Let's go with it. Starting now. I've always enjoyed a good harem show at a convention because of the beautiful women that dance and writhe and jiggle and jingle about around in circles and up and down and around and side. Where's he going? Is there a challenge for putting us out of our misery? What's your challenge exactly? I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Do you have a challenge? I do have a challenge. He's really describing the motion of the circle. <laughs> uh, within the rules of the game, Joseph, of our three, uh, three possible challenges, what did he do? Uh, did he deviate? Yes, I think he did actually deviate, but you weren't really talking about anything. I was painting a word picture. <laughs> So, a point to, a, a point to uh, Joe for a crack challenge, and 
you have 41 seconds to talk about harrowing shows starting now. Harrowing shows <laughs> are very enjoyable, uh, partially because of the spinning dancers that I've heard so much about. Another thing that I enjoy at the Harrowing show is the fact that both men and women can participate and enjoy themselves, but only uh, once. To doubt. I think he used enjoy more than once. Oh my god, I actually got it right! I'm Woo! sorry for being a positive person! My English is not so good. Okay, so, <laughs> point to today for a correct challenge. Welcome to the game today. <laughs> <laughs> and you have 24 seconds to talk about Harin shows starting now. Harin shows are very interesting things from Japan that exhibit the best of having a great time with Arabian nights, Harin days, crazy times, with lots of jiggery. Can I call hesitation? This is going a little bit. Actually, I'm not hearing a hesitation. It's just elongating his words. <laughs> Pointed to that for a great challenge. And to that you have six seconds. Also, I didn't know what language you were saying. It's okay, neither do I. To that you have six seconds. Okay, have six seconds on the subject of powering the show starting now. With the most spectacular hips that jingle, jangle, jingle I have ever seen. <laughs> Jingle, jangle, jingle, and you say DJ. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we changed the accent again. That's a point for an incorrect comment for today. So we know the rest of our performance. We can deviate our accent as much as we want to be known. I don't think that was clear. To now, you have one second on the subject. Oh, what? A Karim show starting now. Karim show. <laughs> I feel like Michael Jordan getting the net. I don't know why. To now gets a point for speaking as the whistle went. I believe he's now swept into the lead. Incredible. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. 